Hi, welcome back to Dog Tricks of the Trade. Now the next couple segments that I'm going to do are going to be back here in the bathing room. Uh, the bottom line is, if you don't know how to bathe and condition your coats properly, you can be the best groomer in the world and your dog is going to look poorly. It's going to look really bad. So all the basics start here. Um, I don't know the level that I'm talking to, so I'm going to start with the very, very introductory stuff and work up in segments. You can pick and choose as I put them online. Okay, so really keep things simple. Uh, this goes for pets and for the show dog. If it's good for the show dog, it's certainly going to trickle down and be good for any pet. And I can tell you right now, for English Springer Spaniels, keep it simple. Dawn. Unicure and Pantene. That's it. That's all you need. I'll go into some of the fancy stuff. I have it. I have used it. But 99% of the time, if you see a professional handler in a ring with a dog from a six-month-old puppy all the way up to their best in show dog, that's it. That's all they use. So let's put this away and let's put this away for now. So let's start with the Dawn. Now, one thing, you notice Unicure and a lot of the fancier shampoos have these containers that you can't see through. The only time I will own a container that you cannot see through is one that actually has the product in it, which is the fully, the fully concentrated product. Once I have diluted it and it goes on the dog, it has to go in a see-through container. And again, you can buy these at Amazon, whatever. But if I can't see through this bottle when I'm picking it up off my uh, with my supply rack back here, it doesn't get put on a dog. It's just that simple. So, all right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start, we're gonna mix shampoo. And I have turned my water on here. If I'm mixing it ahead of time, then for me, I like to make it as hot as I can get it. And I've taken this hose and I've put it all the way down to the very bottom of the bottle. You can see it there. And not, I don't care how fast you fill up the bottle. There was a little bit of shampoo in here, so I'm not going to let it go raging. And that's the other thing is you're mixing shampoo as you're putting it into other containers just remember any any bubbles that you have when you do this are our product so don't go fast and furious and try to fill up a bottle and you're getting rid of six inches of bubble because if you just took a little patience and let the bottle sit to where the bottles the bubbles disappear it will turn back into shampoo and product. So, you know, penny made, penny earned, all that good stuff. Okay, really simple. I'm just gonna take my funnel. Now, here's my recipe. Okay. Okay, so one cup is eight ounces. Eight ounces, that's 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay, eight, eight, and five. So, eight ounces, eight ounces, and five ounces is what's going to go in there. And again, hot just because it melts it, really. Remember, you've got some good Dawn still left in that cup. All right. So that's it, eight, eight, and five. That's how I always remember it. And look, no bubbles. It's because I put the water in first and then I added the Dawn second. Then yes, I'm gonna give it a nice little rock. Rock back and forth. Same thing over here. I usually try to make two gallons, maybe even more. You can make this way in advance. I mean, it's not like it has a shelf life. So there's your eight. Okay. 
There's your eight. There's your five. And again, there's lots of yummy Dawn in this measuring cup. And I know I'm making bubbles, so, but I want to get as much of this out of here as I can. Dawn is not the cheapest thing on the shelf. Okay, that's about as far as I'm going to go. The other thing, anytime you're using any instruments in the grooming shop, keep them clean. I have had this cup for 10 years. And the cup I had before this, I had for 20 years. So if you clean all of your supplies after you, use, after you have used them, you'll be able to keep them forever. All right. So now the next step. So if I want to make two gallons ahead of time. Now, I love this tray. I got this tray actually out of my mother's laboratory when she left Water Reed. She kind of brought some stuff home that she thought would be useful to us. So I've had this for that long, try to find something similar. But what I like about it is that I'm able to put my bottles and it keeps them standing up. Because if you try to do the next step and you don't have them captured in something, they're going to fall over. You're going to lose a lot of product, blah, blah, blah. So I prefer these bottles because when my hands are wet and I'm working with a dog and I grab this, I have this around here. Okay. What I hate about the Dawn bottles, you can't do that. So I can tell you right now, I never use the Dawn bottles for my everyday grooming. I go out and I find palm olive or something else and I use it up at, the, up at my house in my sink until I get the empty bottle. And then these are the ones that I use. And I usually keep six filled, if not more, at all times. And again, like I always say, this isn't brain science. Now, another trick, I'm actually hitting the side, the side of this funnel. Oh, now there's bubbles. Okay. Uh, my manager, who also works here, she does use the Dom bottles for her every day. So I'm going to be nice and fill up some of hers for her. Just to show you that I do like to get this little stainless steel rack all the way full. Now, there, I, I have never figured out a way to fill up these bottles to where I don't make bubbles. So I do it in the course of the day where, okay, they're filled up. I'm going to walk away. I'm going to do other things. I'm going to come back. And I'll just keep fill, letting the bubbles go and keep filling them up until they are done. Then, of course, they just get their, their lids put, put back on and then get put up on the supply rack. So now the next thing that I can talk about is Unicure. And the only place to get Unicure is the Unicure company, Unicure. Sally's used to carry this and, the, I mean, I like had a red carpet into Sally's I went so often. I probably picked up six gallons, if not more, of this every week of my life until they stopped carrying it. And then I had to go online and found out that four of these bottles run about $100. So it's like, oops, I use it very sparingly now. So, um, so this is Unicure. This is excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, it's actually a product that's a hair conditioner and a skin conditioner. So if, if you have rinsed your dog thoroughly after using the shampoo product and you you leave some of this in, it's not going to hurt the dog. It's never going to get the scratchy itchies. So it also has absolutely no odor, none. There is no additive. It smells like air. So if you have a dog that's, that's sensitive to perfumes, and I can't think of a cream rinse in the world from Pantene. They all have this odor to them because I guess that they think if you use a conditioner, you want to smell like the freaking tropics or something afterwards. But a lot of dogs and a lot of people can't take that. So this is a human product. And of course, I use it on the dogs. So this is Unicure. If you put it on and you leave it on for about three or four minutes and then rinse it out. Again, you don't have to rinse it all the way out. You don't have to be paranoid about it. Um, that it's going to stay in the coat in such a way that it will keep the coat from tangling in between baths. We all have that problem with Springer feathers 
as far as wanting to tangle. Of course they tangle, they're long. The other nice thing about this product, it's excellent for the top coat, for the back of the dog. A lot of times I'll use this on their back first, and then I'll take the Pantene and put that on the feathering. So there you go. Now it's also awkward, what do you do with this whole big gallon? I mean, nobody wants to be using this in the bathtub like this. So what I do is I go to the dollar store and I get the cheap little detergents that they have at the dollar store. And again, I use them up at my, up at my kitchen. And if you notice, it has the same configuration so that when my hands are slippery and I'm working in the bathtub, right, right I have a hold of this. Now this is the, the fully concentrated Unicure. I've got the cap on it. Now I can put it on my hands and I can apply it directly on the dog anywhere that I want it right from that smaller bottle. And, I, and I'm not wasting Unicure by just slopping it out of, the, out of the gallons. So that's a little bit of a helpful hint there. Okay, all right. Now, the other thing is too, uh, Pantene shampoo. Um, the, the Silky Pantene shampoo products, they're not bad. Uh, when I think about having them, because I got about 12, uh, I will use them. They're actually quite good. But I always grab the Dawn because that's what I have mixed every day for my regular clientele and everything I do. But um, the Dawn Smooth and Sleek, they have 14 million different ones. It doesn't really matter. But the Dawn Shampoo is actually another good one to give that silkier finish to stop the tangles in between. So that's something you might want to look into. This is a must. Okay. Anybody who's got a Springer or a Springer-like kind of dog with feathering, panting. So I keep these bottles that have the squirt tops. Again, if I'm working back here, my hands and everything's gonna be slippery. So I just keep everything in a squirt top. And this way I can put it on my hand and then work it into the coats, work it into wherever I want it. Actually, before I even start washing a dog, I put it in the bathtub and the first thing I do is I put this like hand lotion and I rub it all over their face and their muzzle and a little bit down their necks because that's the first part of the dog that we all smell. They sit in our laps, they sleep in our beds, they're in our cars. So the entire time I'm bathing the dog, this Pantene conditioner, complete as it is, I don't, I don't use it, I don't cut it with water, is on their head and down their neck. Next. And that's just something that I do because I want my dogs to smell like panting. I like that smell. But again, if you, if you or your dogs have problems with odors, then you've got to get the Unicure. So now we're back to this just in that little bit of time that I spent talking to you about other things. You can see that the bubbles have gone down a whole lot. And just for the sake of our filming here today, I am going to top off these bottles. And yes, I'm going to lose some because the bubbles are going to come out. So we're just going to pretend that I've just come back and forth and back and forth and back and forth until there are no bubbles and I've been a good girl and I'm going to save all that nice Dawn that's in there. Okay, super easy. Now for me, I keep six of these big bottles with these handlebars. That's what I use every day. And because I have a pet grooming shop, if I do that once a week, I'm good to go for the whole week. And uh, All right, now there's, there's the rest that I have left. Now, these will go down on my shop storage shelf. And again, I can see through them. I know exactly what they are. And I don't have to be worried when I'm grabbing them. Even this is see-through, so when I grab it, I can see exactly what it is. The Pantene is Pantene. It's got its name printed on the label. So when I am working with dogs in the bathtub, this thing has a couple different chores that it does around here. Yes, I probably could have used all that shampoo on the next dog, but you guys are getting the speed pass here. so. I'm going to be doing this a little bit quickly so we can all see it. So I'm getting ready to bathe for the day. So I'm going to take one of these, maybe, well, 
I use a lot of head and shoulders because I get pets in here with a lot of skin problems. Okay, there's my Unicure, there's my Pantene. And that just, I, I have that ready. That sits in my bathtub back here in the corner. And as I go throughout my whole day, that's where I just keep all my supplies. It's all here. Even, even if a dog knocks into it, I knock into it. Look, it's not going to go anywhere. It's not like you're going to, like, this is going to spill over. And before you know it, half of it's down the drain. So that is a good way to deal with that. I am going to wash this out. I'm going to scrub my tub out. And that is the recipe for making the Dawn, keeping it in the gallon containers, how you would cut down the Unicure into a bottle that you can hold and have in there. And that is the first step to bathing your dogs, is having your products ready. Okay, we will be to the next segment very shortly soon. <laughs> okay, bye-bye.